So when I, when I first tried to build my wallapini, I dug this big hole next to my house and uh, I went back to DC because I had to go vote and, and uh, work in Congress and it rained really hard that week. And this whole wall was just dirt and it just filled in everything that I had created. All of this area here was full of mud. So my kids called it the big dig. It was like uh, sort of a disaster. I saw this idea on Facebook on the internet and I thought, hey, I could build one of those. It's basically an underground greenhouse. So we are right here below the dirt. Uh, the roof is uh, two layers of plastic and um, I can grow vegetables in here in the middle of the winter uh, because the earth keeps the greenhouse warm all year round and plants never freeze. In fact, I kept a tomato plant alive in here for two years and it produced tomatoes. Now, I think one of the most important features about a wallapini is it's got to have a drain. So my drain's hidden under this stone step. But the drain down here keeps this from becoming a pond with a roof on it. And I used a mixture of, of stones that are on, that I took from my farm. Um, down there where the pond is, these are stones that I dug out of the ground myself. Um, but then I got a little bit lazy down here and I used stuff from um, the hardware store, the, you know, hardware supply places to do this part. But what I like about it is the, the lichens and the moss and the stuff is already growing on this and I don't wash that off. I like that look. I want it all to look like this eventually. Hey, see, I got a little earthworm in here and that's a good sign. That's a sign that we got some good soil here. I, I, I transplanted this soil here and uh, it didn't have earthworms in it at first. So that's the first earthworm I've, I've found in my wallapini. So I'm pretty excited about that. They're gonna improve the soil as well. Now, another neat thing about this wallapini, it's basically its own little ecosystem and water stays here. I mean, because it's in here, in the earth, because I dug a hole in the earth and put basically a, a see-through lid on it, uh, any water that I add to this, it, it condenses and the condensate falls off of the roof and back down in here. So I get like little, um, almost like rainstorms uh, in my wallapini, um, clouds and stuff. So that's kind of neat that the soil stays moist. I thought I would have to water this a lot and I, and I don't have to water it very often at all. Now, I guess, if, I guess if you live in Florida or California, you're not gonna understand the, the um, attraction of a wallapini because you can already grow vegetables year round. But I like living in Kentucky because we have four seasons. But, you know, the problem with having four seasons is one of those seasons is winter and all life gets frozen out. So the allure to me of having a wallapini is that when you're stuck there in the middle of winter and everything's gloomy and cold, you can have a little bit of summer here 